tell me what you say to these women, because I agree, it takes two people to create a child. You say what? If you think I'm going to be faithful, don't marry me, because I'm not going to be. Anything else? That's oh, pretty much it. I presume you don't say this at the altar? No, I say a couple of days before. Before? <laughs> well, a couple of weeks before anyway. Mike Jr. Yes. You've had a difficult life. Very. And I'm going to give you an opportunity to tell me about it, all right? Yep. You OK? Yep. What's it like for you to hear what Dad's just said? A Lorelei's. People know I can smell a lie like a fart in a car. You understand that? Yes. <laughs> and when somebody has a sort of species of halitosis of the human soul, the waft emanates in you court. Think I'm here to let you insult Talking me. number yeah. two! I'll rule without you being here. That's your second you chance. There you go. Itching. I think you may receive the first ever public standing ovation. <sighs> now, for various reasons, you were taken into care. At what age? I was taken into care at four, but my father was offered the opportunity to have me. This is what this is the story he told me. Does that ring a bell, sir? Nope. OK. Regardless, you ended up in foster care. Yes. Were you in one foster home were you, or in several? Several. What qualifications did you leave school with? Um, I, didn't, I didn't do very well in school, but I managed to get a BA in art, which is my chosen study. You went to college and you got a? Um, B.Tech. Oh, yes, that was after I left, left my father's. So you did move in with your father when you were 16? Yes. I've seen that and I accept it. For how long? Um, I lived there for a few weeks before things started changing. And he accepts this. I want to be fair to you, because alcoholics come in all shapes, sizes, classes, etc. Would you say, Mike, so you need to give you an opportunity to respond to this? Are you an alcoholic? I'll always be an alcoholic, but I'm, I'm a non-practicing alcoholic. Well, how long, have you been, how long have you been five, clean? Well, it's, it's about 30 days or five years. At the time you, you were living with Dad, he was an alcoholic? Yes. So it was not the best environment? Far from it. So at 16 years old, where did you go? Um, the same person who always picked me up, my sister, my oldest sister. She picked me up every time he threw me out, every time I left of my own accord. She was always there. She's She's like my mother. Like a number of people who have been in foster care. At some point, you ended up getting into trouble, am I right? Yes. How old were you? Um, I, it was after, just after I moved in with my father, I started getting into trouble. And there were circumstances where you started taking legal highs, correct? Yes. And you ended up committing a burglary? I did, yes. Legal highs. <laughs> Interrupting! It was legal at the time, Your Honour. Oh, fine. Point was, you admit it. You've made that absolutely clear. Um, may I... And you committed a burglary and you went to prison for how long? 11 months. The best thing that ever happened to me. And since you've been out of custody, am I right? Because you had qualifications. You finished your qualifications. I did, yes. You're doing something else now. What, what, what are you doing, please? I teach kids graffiti in a community centre. Well, I do... I run a f number of courses. What courses do people. you personally run, please? Uh, pottery, um, graffiti, drawing. Just in other words, you've actually got a qualification in art which you use to help young kids in the community. Yes. This isn't you pulling the wool over my eyes. You provided me with an example of it. Did you draw that? I did, yes. I love my son and I love what he can do. But I don't like lies. I don't like being lied about. What's Junior said, which is a lie, please? About, Ill uh, about legal highs. About Have you got drugs. any exa other examples of your art, please? These are extraordinary. Uh, is that a self-portrait? Yeah, that's, um, that's me and my dog, Saren. Gosh. Could you show this to Dad? I've seen them all. Well, I'd like you to look at them again, please. I don't need to. Just pause. Come back, Michelle. You don't want to look at this. I've seen them all.
How long have you been working in the community centre? It's about 10 months now. Have you helped young people? Yeah. What's it like to see them achieve something? Especially, like, when there is this one child I helped, he's got a bit, bit of a problem, very hyper. But when you, when you sit one to one with him and you see how calm and he is a good drawer, and you see the concentration, you see how proud he is by the end of the, his work, it gives you some satisfaction. It's like that you actually made a difference, sort of, maybe to him. For more Judge Rinder cases, click here. And if you've got a legal issue yourself, get in touch with us by clicking over here.